Hmm. Suddenly, another child, whom everyone else presumed to have been sleeping, spoke up from the other side of the room. How old was she? This was slightly off topic, so the storyteller asked, Do you mean the cow that was walking through the crowd up to the bull? Yes, said the other child. I'm talking about the cow with the beautiful shoulder-length hair that walks up to the bull, and then everyone stomps on the ground in celebration because they're about to mate. What does mate mean? asked the first child. Is that related to boats like the first mate, or is that related to chess? like when I win the game by declaring a checkmate. The storyteller said, what is really important, my dear children, is that the cow was old enough to mate. Trust me on that. After, after that, the storyteller said, as for the word mate itself, it is related to the word mother and basically it means to make a female into a mother, okay? The word mate is also related to the words maternity and matrimony and marriage and uh, lots of other words. Alma mater means it's, it's in fact, the word mother um, is originating from the word mate, oddly enough, or, or related word. That's just your opinion. These cows should respect our tradition, said one of the children. I still think that the one cow was, was way too young. Frankly, it's disgusting that such a young cow would be mating at that age. I find it disturbing and insulting, and we need to put an immediate stop to, these, to those frightening and primitive practices. I hope that hearing this tragic story does, does not make me vomit because I'm starting to feel queasy. Just, this is, ah! You know, it's really, it's really, uh, this is not what I want. This is, this is not what I want. The other child attempted to help with a few simple words. Um, this is a story from a long time ago, okay? So relax, okay? Just chill out. It's just a story from a long time ago. I don't, I don't even know if it's a true story, okay? It, it's, why are you freaking out? Yeah, but <laughs> you don't even understand me. Last year, there were at least 100 Similar cases within 5,000 miles of us, one child shouted. Those cows must be mentally ill, everybody. Um, they are hysterical. They're breaking the commandments of God. And if we do not stop them right away, then they're probably going to spark another apocalypse. And who wants that, right? You sound paranoid, dude, said one child to another. You need to shut up. Listen, you need to shut up or else I'm going to tell on you. Whoa. Children, calm down, said the storyteller, punctuating each word by smacking one of the children on the cheek. On the cheek. Stop arguing right now. You know, like slapping, alternating between which child was being smacked, right? It was very, it was very surprising. Were you surprised? I was surprised. All right. So suddenly the bull turned to the cow, okay, and said, the way you walk... <laughs> Just so sexy. However, I'm a bit nervous about what everyone else will think of me, so I'm telling you about it instead of doing something about it. Don't even think about what that would mean. Sexy, the cow hissed. Is this, is that where your mind is at a time like this? Ah! A time like what, said the bull. You're not really worried about what those kids are saying about you, are you? Seriously? No, you idiot, said the cow. Those kids do have electric cattle prods, and so they deserve respect, but that's not what concerns me right now. Can't you see that the, the, the clouds are, are getting dark over there, and they're coming, and they feel the storm coming? It's going to rain on us. We're going to get drenched. The bull actually had been focused on the way that the cow was walking and had not noticed the dark clouds approaching. So the bull then said, wow, that looks serious. It is serious, the cow insisted. While you were over here quietly condemning the human children for being naive and belligerent religious fanatics, we're about to get drenched, okay? So what are you going to do about it? Wait, how did you know that I was quietly condemning those human children? The bull wondered. I never said anything out loud about them at all. I know you, said the cow. 
I could see it written on your face. <sighs> what? Said the bull. I looked, I looked in the mirror a minute ago when the kid went to the bathroom to, to get some water. I looked in the mirror right then. I turned and looked in the mirror, and um, there was nothing written on my face. You can be so literal sometimes, said the cow. I don't mean written on your face like with a marker. I mean your facial expressions, okay? And it's in your forehead and in your shoulders, and you're, you're nervous about those kids and, and their electric cattle prods, I can tell. No, said the bull. I mean, why would I be? Hey, you're not saying that I'm scared, are you? Of course not. Why would I bother even saying that? You would just deny it anyway. So, by the way, did you notice, though, that you just peed on yourself while we were talking? Huh, said the bull. <laughs> What's that? No, that's not urine. That's, uh, that's probably just some water that splashed up on me when I accidentally stepped in a puddle earlier. Look, just forget it, said the cow. What are you going to do about the storm coming our way? Uh, said the bull. Uh, I condemn it. It should not be like that. And, um, and I blame the humans. What kind of a bull are you? I need a real bull who's going to treat me like a real cow deserves to be treated. You've read too many books and listened to too many lectures about how to get to heaven. Today, when I need a real bull, you're here talking about who is to blame for the storm that's coming. You're not even doing anything. <sighs> Honey, I thought, said the bull, I thought, look, isn't this what you wanted? I was just trying to please you, dear. Stop, said the cow with the beautiful shoulder length hair. Just stop trying to please me all the time. Where are your balls? Slow down, slow down. What kind of balls are you talking about, dear? There were a couple of dances in the barn last month, and those were called balls, like with ballroom dancing, right? And they had the, you know, the, the, the reception after the wedding and the ball and the prom and all that stuff. But is that what you're talking about? Honey, why are you, why are you walking away? Please, honey, honey, I, I, I apologize for my, the way I was looking. Uh, and thinking about how sexy you are when you're walking, but anyway, um, honey, I'm so I'm so I'm scared, and I'm sorry, and I don't I want you to come back. Please come back, honey, 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 honey. There's there's still a part three, so that's not it. There's more. Okay, that's almost it, but that's not it. There's still a part three.